and certainly here locally, we are right smack in the middle of it. That most recent package was discovered today in South Sacramento, and that package was addressed to Senator Kamala Harris. It was intercepted at the post office on 44th Street. That's where we find Fox 40's Doug Johnson joining us now live. And Doug, what do we know right now? Well, guys, things are a lot calmer here right now. In fact, we just went inside this post office. They have a lot of the mailmen report, reporting uh, back to work. They're trying to go back to normal uh, here. But earlier today, a much different scene, and neighbors tell us they were terrified as deputies were clearing the streets. This is the back of a South Sacramento post office. You're seeing the moments as bomb technician robots rendered a suspicious package safe. That package was addressed to U.S. Senator Kamala Harris's Sacramento office. We have determined that this, this device was, in fact, a legitimate device, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation has taken over the investigation, and we have now rendered the device safe. It's just a very scary situation. Imagine Vivian Davis says the day started out normal as she set up her yard sale, but soon she could tell something was wrong. And all of a sudden we have ATF showing up, and we had the Sheriff's Department showing up, and then we had all the news crews showing up, and I was thinking, this is jacking up my yard sale. <laughs> Her daughter-in-law lives behind the post office on 44th Street in South Sacramento. Her grandson plays just a matter of feet from where the package was found. I mean, he's three. What does he know? He even walked out a couple times when we were supposed to be locked up. Thank God you told me to put him back in. <laughs> Sacramento Sheriff deputies cleared the streets surrounding the post office, telling those who lived within a 300 feet blast radius to shelter indoors. But with the help of robots, bomb technicians were soon able to issue the all clear. And we do believe uh, that the package is related to the, uh, the nationwide investigation. Meanwhile, Davis tells us she feels safer knowing that authorities made that arrest in South Florida today. We don't need this. I mean, we're trying to make a world for our, my grandkids and bombing them or sending bombs through the mail. You never know who's going to get one. And back out here live, things are returning to normal at this post office. Now, the FBI did tell us that uh, the package that they discovered here looked very, very similar on the outside as other packages discovered earlier this week, which were sent to uh, former President Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Reporting live in South Sacramento today, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Doug, thank you. And a spokesperson for Senator Kamala Harris released this statement following the discovery of the package. It reads in part, at this moment, it is incumbent upon leaders across the political spectrum to take seriously the power they hold. It is the responsibility of our leaders to use their role as public figures to elevate our discourse and bring people together. And Democratic donor and outspoken Trump critic Tom Steyer was also mailed a package today. It was intercepted at a postal facility in Burlingame. That's in the Bay Area. Yeah, law enforcement says uh, the mailing very similar to the other suspicious packages. Uh, billionaire Tom Steyer has been working to impeach President Trump in a statement. He said, quote, we are seeing a systematic attack on our democracy and our rule of law that extends much further than just one isolated terrorist in Florida. Then